What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Right now, I look like a hot mess. Uh, I just woke up and I'm finally home in California. Kyle's grandfather passed away about a month and a half ago, so we went home for the funeral and um, I needed to come back sooner for work and stuff. And anyways, that's why I haven't been posting as much because we were home with family and like doing a bunch of stuff with them and I feel like that kind of threw off my schedule. But now I am home, so I'm really excited. I feel like I just like hit a hard reset and now I'm just excited to get back into a routine. So anyways, for today's video, Aspen Ovard did this and it so did um, like Kennedy Walsh does this a lot where they like transform themselves into someone else. So I'm gonna try to make myself look as different as possible Usually this is what I look like, except my hair usually looks better. I've like slept in the sun for like three days. So usually my hair looks better than it does now and it's just curly. And, but I usually wear no makeup. I usually have on like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt and like that's it. So I thought it would be fun to do this and make myself look as different as possible. And I feel like the way to do that is by like cakey, heavy, dark makeup. And then I even got this blonde wig off of Amazon. I have these eyelashes, but I was thinking about it. I don't even think I have eyelash glue and I don't know if these come with it. So if these don't come with eyelash glue, that's kind of a bust. But I was gonna pick fake eyelashes on and I had a fake nose ring, but I don't know where it went. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna wrap it. I think, I think the wig will be enough and I know it's gonna look so bad because I don't know how to put on wigs, but I'm just gonna put like a beanie or something on it. So anyways, Let's just get started. I like don't want to waste all of my makeup on this, but honestly, I don't really wear makeup anyway, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm really worried though, because I don't really wear like foundation. Like I'll put some concealer on and that's really it. Because honestly, I can't find a foundation that matches me. And whenever I go to the store and I get one that matches, it matches me for like a month and then my skin tone is just always changing especially when summer comes around and so anyways it's a mess it's a mess so i'm just gonna use this born this way one it's in the shade warm sand last time i tried to wear this it made me look really orangey so i feel like it's probably gonna do the same thing it's just something about like when i'm pale how i look and when i'm tan i feel like when my face is tanner i literally just can't wear foundation because i just always look orange and maybe people just don't know how to match me honestly so um i don't know see like that looks orange i think <laughs> but we're gonna go with it Maybe after I put like other stuff on it, it'll, um, what's the word? Blend better and look more not so orange. I just, I don't know. Oh wow, this looks like even more orange in this mirror, but whatever. Now, concealer. Um, do I do yeah, I'm just gonna use the Fenty Beauty concealer. This is the concealer I always use, even when, um, like, I'm not really wearing makeup. I feel like this is what people do when they're like contouring, right? They just like put it everywhere like this. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know. So maybe this will balance out like the foundation color or make it look not as orangey maybe i should try to cover up my vitiligo like i feel like that will make me super super different right i just don't think i have the color correctors necessary to do that so i've never tried to do that ever maybe i'll just leave it be just because i know for a fact i can't cover it up with the makeup that i have because i don't i think you need like a bunch of color correctors and stuff to do that right i don't know Anyways, how is quarantine going for you guys? I know it's so different for everyone depending on where you live. Like back home in Indiana, they basically opened everything back up, which I think is so crazy because here in California, like we're still on lockdown and um, our stay at home order, I think is supposed to end this week. And the governor is in phases of opening things, but he isn't quite as far along as indiana like in indiana people can go to the hair salon and like get their hair done and get their nails done and stuff like that and 
we can't do that here quite yet so it's just interesting to see like the phases that people are in so very curious like where you guys are at and stuff and what you're doing to keep busy i don't know if some of you are working from home like how's that going i feel like working from home is kind of challenging but also nice at the same time because it's challenging because you're at home and you see all the things that you need to do at home but it's nice because you don't have to leave <laughs> i appreciate that like i can just wake up and work because i don't take the time to like get ready in the morning so far i work like some people do so i just put the beauty bakery bake powder on my face i'm gonna let that sit um what should i do next i feel like i should try to contour it it's like I don't know, that's what people do, right? Okay, I'm just gonna take this Tarte palette and take these two shades and just try to snatch that cheekbone, you know what I mean? <laughs> I truly don't really understand how to contour. I feel like when I do it, it just looks bad. I think maybe I just don't have the right shaped face for it or I like don't know how to use my face structure to contour. Like I feel like that just looks gross. Like it looks like I'm dirty, but maybe that's how it's supposed to look. I don't know. All right. We're just gonna leave that there for a sec and I'll come back to it. Oh, when I do blush, um it's usually not very intense now my mirror isn't staying up how did i have that um i'm gonna take the pinkiest shade they have and put that on my face oh my gosh that looks really bad this is not the correct blush brush for sure not the right one i'm just gonna try to fix that really quick <laughs> i need to get a better blush brush for sure that was terrible okay and then i'm gonna take highlighter i don't know i'm just gonna pick a random one to just throw on there whoa that's pretty intense i like don't do this you know how people like insanely highlight their nose that's something that <laughs> it's something that i like don't do so there we go i feel like what's gonna make me look super different is eye makeup because i never do it so i think i'm gonna do like crazy colors like i'm gonna put this blue use these blue <laughs> colors so we'll see okay after this i'm for sure gonna have to clean all my brushes okay just gonna take this blue color and just I'm so scared to do this okay oh my gosh <laughs> this is insane I look insane okay darker blue now and just <laughs> okay that's not better okay um take this like silvery shade and just Calm it down a little bit. I want you guys to keep in mind while I'm doing this that like I'm already not very good at makeup. Like it's just nothing. I'm not like super talented when it comes to makeup. I always do very basic, easy, simple makeup that's really hard to mess up, which is why I don't do stuff like this because look at me. Look at me. Okay. I don't have eyeliner. <laughs> Maybe I do see any eyeliner so I'm gonna use like a brush to um like apply and just use black black eyeshadow some winged eyeliner I like never do that maybe you I. I look crazy, like absolutely crazy. I don't even think there's a way to pretend like I look good right now. I'm 
it's time for the wig but i don't really know how you like put wigs on i think my butt needs to be so i'm just gonna do this So my freshman year of college, I like never dyed my hair ever. My mom never let me touch it, touch it. So my freshman year of college, I got like obsessed with the idea of having blonde hair and I like started the, the track of dyeing my hair blonde and it never got this blonde. Um, so I've been blonde before. I think this looks pretty crazy. Obviously like it, you can tell it's a wig. I'm gonna get, um, my beanie. I feel like when I have my beanie on, guys, <laughs> wow. I mean, I think I look different. I mean, if you're far away, you can't really tell, I feel like. Here's a close-up of my terrible makeup, like terrible, but if you're kind of find far away, it doesn't look as bad. Okay, I'm gonna take some pictures. Amazing. I feel like I wanna make a bunch of Kardashian dub TikToks right now. Cause I feel like I look very like more Kardashian if I get like my glasses. I'm just gonna get, that's literally what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go make Kardashian dub TikToks with this blonde hair. Look how bad that is. I just don't have one of those caps. And um, so go follow me on TikTok if you want to see those. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, obviously it wasn't super long, but it was fun to just do something different. Uh, let me know below what you want to see and what kind of videos you guys enjoy. I'm up to do anything, so just let me know. I hope you like this little transformation of me. I think I look pretty different, like I would say, than what I usually look like. I mean, come on. Come on. So, anyways. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe and all that good stuff, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.